I haven't been on this bike since August 6th when I laid her down, crashed her. It's not a pretty sight. Outside, I like to be on the trainer outside. It's a little cold out here, but it feels good. Some people have the trainer inside, I don't understand that. Stay outside. Trainer's a little squeaky, not sure why. This bike feels so different than my road bike. Holy smokes. So, I gotta start getting on it. But it's okay, because I'll give you a little philosophy that I have about training. <sighs> yeah. What most people don't understand about training, there's a time to be specific. Specificity rules. But there's also a time not to be specific. If you're specific all the time, burnout. You're like mental fatigue. You gotta switch stuff up. So in the off season, this off season, I just ran for a while in the fall, hit some good races. I was running good, just running only. Then got hurt running, rode the road bike a lot, didn't swim at all. Played soccer, indoor row or lifted weights. Now it's time to, so that's very non-specific training for triathlon. Now it's time to get specific. What's today? Dude, about eight weeks out, devil man. Or you can do the duathlon, Peace Valley Park. That's the end of April. So now's the time. Give yourself a good six, eight week block of specific training. I was in the pool last night, first time in months. It's good, so I'll get in the pool, I'll get on the tri bike, I'll slowly transition into more specific training. So, I got my power meter, after I turn this video off, I'm gonna have my power meter on. I'll see how I'm doing on this thing, but I've been riding a ton, I got a lot of ro road rides in, they're just all on the roadie, haven't been on the tri bike. So, I expect good things. You don't wanna have a super, you gotta be fresh at this point in the season. You can't be like, oh, I've been doing my, uh... dude, do different stuff. Now, eight weeks out, now you know you gotta focus. I can even feel like, it's like when I first started playing soccer, after the first game, I couldn't walk for three days. Now, after like four, four weeks, I played last night, I feel fine. And I'm playing better, I'm moving better. So it takes a couple weeks to get the muscles back. So I'll hit a couple early season races, and that'll be, mo that'll be mainly just about regaining form. I won't even put too much pressure on myself. Hit those races, get fit. By June, I should be good. Hit a couple races then. Then back down for a little bit and get into some serious training. And then August, 70.3. That's how we're gonna roll. That's how you set it up. You can't just train the same way all year round. That ain't gonna work. So, it's a little scary though, because now it's crunch time. Everybody's been, I'm pretty fit though, I'm not worried. I had some real good races. December, I had a good running race. Brian's run, hit a good five. PR at the 5K. I've been on 250 mile rides this year already, on the roadie. I'll work that up. I'm gonna work the roadie miles up. I'm gonna work the trainer in. As soon as, it's, I mean the uh, tri bike on the trainer. As soon as it's warm, I'm on the tri bike down the shore. Hopefully I'll get a power meter on this beast for the road. I have one that's on the trainer only. Get on the road and start, you know, going over 20 miles an hour for long stretches. Get the track workouts going, that's more specific. In the pool, gotta start swimming workouts. 20 by 100. Ideally 20 by 100, leave every 145, but we'll see how it goes. Gotta ease that shoulder in. So now what I'm doing, I'm on the trainer now, I'm starting to get hot, right? Some people are inside and they got the fan on. Just don't want my, to make sure this phone doesn't go wild on me. I'm gonna start stripping off clothes here. Soon I'll be damn naked. Hood off, head hot, pop it off. Hair's crazy, hair's crazy. 
It's all right, like this. Now, hair looks good. Looks good, Zoo. 41 years old. Shit. Shit, man. So now we're going to pop it. Let's bring up the cadence a little bit, yeah? Still in a little ring. All right, we'll throw her in the big. I'm going to pop her in the big chain ring here. Put her in an easy gear in the back cassette. Let's see how she feels, huh? Oh, yeah. See, that's the thing. Best thing you can do is be non-specific. Because then once you start getting specific again, oh, man, it feels so good. Like, the fitness is there. It's just you got to bring everything back to where it was. But all that time away, you've been working different muscles. I'll be dropping watt bombs on this thing. You can't train specific. You get, you get, you can only give yourself an eight-week block. That's all you're gonna get. What are you gonna do? You're gonna train for 25 weeks. You're not gonna go anywhere. First of all, you're gonna plateau and then get worse. Best thing to do: 12, eight to 12 weeks, focused like a mother. Hit that thing. Then you get on a good curve, good rhythm in your training. You're getting better and better every day. Get up to a peak, rest, race. And then race yourself into fitness the rest of the way. That's ZBT right there. Then you'll get to a point where you gotta back down again, you gotta let it go. Take some weeks of maybe do some more mileage or just gotta change your training up in the middle of the season. And then start ramping up again, do another eight, 12 week block. Eight weeks probably, six to eight. Hit another couple good races, season's over, done. It's crazy. But you got to think like that. See, and then you get your arms up like this. Try bike to position is so different. My ass feels like it's 10 feet up in the air. This thing's good though, because once you're in the wind and you're down like this, all the memories come back now. It's 25 miles an hour, just like this. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You get real comfortable on it, everything comes out of your core. Ride your bike with your core, not with your legs. So you start swaying this thing. It's, it's all form. Like you would think, out of all three sports, cycling requires the least form. It's a ton of form. It's just not evident. Like you think this all oh, this pedals going around in a circle. Your whole body's moving to engage the muscles to push those suckers. It's all your core. You're rocking the bike. Just it's very subtle. But you have to, your legs aren't strong enough to get you all that power. You gotta get your lower back, your butt, your stomach. It's good stuff. All right, so that's it. That's my, uh, give me a call, ZBT. I wonder if this bike's too big. I feel a little stretched out here. We can always mess with the adjustments, you know? Maybe I'll bring the seat forward a little bit. I can go with a shorter stem. Because right now I feel like, I feel like the pads are too far forward. Like, this feels more comfortable here. If I shorten my stem, then you get like, you know, ideally you put a mirror over here so you can see yourself and then you want to know what the angles are, but it's always different too when you put it on the road. So you want to ride the trainer, but the, on the road, maybe you're like, Maybe in a race, you're more forward like this. Your ass isn't even on the saddle at all anyway. So, all right, that's it. That's all I got. Train your, train your, plan your year. Now's the time. Start getting specific. Hopefully you were non-specific. Because if you're not, then you probably burned out and I'm going to blow by you. But it's now or never, boys. Get your stuff together every day. You got to train, man. You got to focus. It takes a lot of focus and commitment. Every day revolves around sleep, eat, train. Then you got work and you got other responsibilities at home, but dude, you can't be taking three days off from training, I'll tell you that. Every day, get your training in, all right? Peace out.